look at this beautiful golden sand. That era when I first started to come, started to fall in love with Scotland. It's an epic place. This is like a perfect ending. If I could have chosen it in a fairy tale ending, it would be like this. Good morning from a windy log fleet. Seems like everybody is flocking here with their binoculars and uh, telephoto lenses to get a photo of them in the good light. Look at this, it's really windy though. You might not hear it too well, but the seals are there baking in the sunshine. All morning there's been people like parked up in the bay over there. The plan is to drive four hours to Love Venichar and then we will uh, spend our final night in Scotland. So it might look a nice day, but it's actually very uh, windy, a chilly wind. The camping trip has been challenging, but worth it. Okay, we're going for a wee walk to try and get a better look at the seals. Yeah, just in the island in the middle. It's not often you get to see a group of seals. Can I hear them now? You're not supposed to go within 150 meters of them apparently. The seals can attack. We've got sheep enjoying the sun in the field here. The people are gathering with the telephoto lenses. Yeah, really good seeing them. You can see them quite a bit better from here on the beach there and there's a team of uh, photographers or bird watchers getting some professional pictures of them all right now we'll we will try and walk around scaleboard castle Whew, that stinks oh my god the seals are loving it they're all like Whoo! they're loving it here we have scaleboard castle just here but i'm not sure how you get to it we'll go and have a quick look it does say protected so we can see the edges of Scaleball Castle there. It's a question of like, how do we get inside? This looks like someone's house and I feel like it's private. I think I'll skip it because it's private land. It's a mysterious one, this. So I just saw these bikers in the museum. They came along this private road, but I asked them about this castle and it seemed like there's no access to it. Those cyclists then, I said, because uh, they looked and showed where to go, I said, the seals on the right. <laughs> Like the seals on the left on the grass. <laughs> right, we'll press on now and uh, go to Lot Donuk. Right, we're here, Donut Beach. This is a car park. So over there you can go buy coffee, you can have a drink. I parked right at the far end near the beach. Me and Gary came here like 2005, a long time ago. And I stood on this rock and got a picture. I'd love to just go and find that again and uh, show you guys what the beautiful beach that it was. The beach is here. We've got this beautiful golden sand. Me and Gary came to this area about 2005. And because Madonna got married at a castle near Donut, Donut Castle, I think. So we went to find that castle at the time. It was pretty cool. And we came, we came here as well to look at the beach. So this is the beach. Wow. This is the one uh, I walked along in my 20s or early 30s. What a nice place. The sand is like very, very nice, pristine sand. Yeah, let's go and try and find this rock that I stood on as a young man and a very happy man. When I was first adventuring in Scotland, that era when I first started to come, I started to fall in love with Scotland and it was a really good spontaneous kind of thing to see this beach. We're blown away by the, the beauty of it. First real like beach, white golden beach that me and Gary saw in Scotland. I think this is a rock, might be getting changed. <laughs> a camera all over them. Hey, I think this is the rock I stood on. Or it could have been those over there. I'll have to see the photograph again. She's getting changed into a into a bikini. And I'm nervous camera like. Ooh. She's still like getting a bit paranoid, you know, so 
I think I just had to like back off a little bit. What is he doing? You know, to be honest, it could have been any of these rocks. You know, the, the tide could have been different. It's a very good place just to come and chill, have a little chill place. I'm so hot now in this. I know you're thinking, well, what have you doing in this big jacket? Seems like a lot of people come here to get pictures on the rock. Maybe it's just a natural thing that people do. I think it's fantastic. It's done it to me again. It's uh, it's made me fall in love with the place again. Look at that. How can you not love it? This guy is getting drawn ready. Why not? But I have to head back because uh, my skin's burning. This uh, sun is uh, hotter than anticipated. Put myself down here. This guy's drawn in the sand. Tommy or something. Some love story. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. Now we got lucky with the sun today. When I woke up in the car early morning, it was like wet. It was wet, raining. Well, then it just went beautiful. That's Scotland for you. It seems miserable. Give it a chance because Scotland can change to something beautiful like this. It's an epic place. I could have come and spent more time getting video shots and photos but we have a four hour drive today it's a lot of miniature and I want to find a calf as well he's still lunch now I'm very happy to come and show you the beauty of it get a feeling back that I got years ago right back to the car we'll find it. I'll find a calf and then we'll move on to the next place look how beautiful this is in Dornoch I just missed driving through the golf course and having the camera on the car it was pretty nice and the uh, just driving through the village here all right, we're headed to the coffee shop now. I think it's just around the corner. I might just add uh, some lunch in a sandstorm cafe. Just uh, really recommend it. Really chilled, very polite staff. Wonderful. It's a little beautiful, like, town village. Look at it. Really uh, beautiful place, isn't it? And pretty impressive church as well. I was thinking of going to Chamonix Point again, but the tide is going out. That means that it's not the best time to see the dolphins, the best time to see the dolphins. Rising tide. I'm going to head to Loch Minachar. Four hours of a drive. So we're going to head there, make the long journey now. So we should be arriving to Minachar for between 6 and 7 p.m. And the plan is tonight just to chill there, like final night, have a fire on the beach, burn all the wood we have, and you know, say sayonara to this trip. It's brilliant. All right, just arrived in Calendar on the car park. I'm gonna go and get some food. Right now I'm ready for some tea and then we've got a lot of NHR to camp for a final night and hopefully get a good spot and a fire later. Okay, so I'm sat in the Chinese village restaurants in Calendar and I've ordered chime in and I'm getting a Budweiser beer. Uh, this is the restaurant itself. Yeah, so the food's here. Chime in, chicken chime in. Cheers. Yeah, very nice food, really enjoyed it. We'll be arriving at the lock, probably a bit dark. I've got like a plan A, B and C when it comes to love miniature, even though I paid three pounds, booked a, a permit. I don't know how well you see, I've arrived at Lock Miniature and there's no one here. We've booked North Shore B, right? We're in North Shore B. What's great about this is uh, I've got the prime spot, you know, the little parking bay in the corner right to the beach. So it's perfect for our fire. We've got it all to ourselves, and it feels great to tell you. It just feels great. It's like this has uh, got the potential to be a, a perfect scenario for the final night. So I'm very happy. I'm going to try and get a fire going. I will get a fire going. All right, I'm starting to fire with a tissue and hopefully this is enough for cake going. Already not burning great. Another tissue's on. Will this be enough? Will this be enough? It's looking good, what do you think? We're gonna keep warm today, folks. This'll be our first decent fire if it doesn't rain. We've got a bit of a heavy duty kindling base. There we go, it's going a bit. Oh yes. One has been dying to get going for the whole trip. And now I've set it free. It can do its magic and turn to the fire. Now the glow of the fire is lighting me up so you can see us talk to you. <laughs> 
we're all good for tonight. We can burn all this wood, then just chill in the car and get a good night's sleep ready for the trip back tomorrow. But this trip has been amazing. I'm really happy that we did it. We did the NC500 and come back to Lot Venature where we started from the start when I really didn't feel like I had the energy for the trip. You know, driving up here the first day or two, I don't know, I just didn't feel the same energy, the right vibe, you know. But on day three or four, it really, it came to us and we uh, really got into the this stride and we did it. We did the NC500, so what an epic eight day trip. We did it, guys. Fire is going so well now. Let's make a brew with the killer kettle. The killer kettle's there. It's on. The wind is, the wind is still there, but it's giving it a bit of oxygen. Going onto the kettle a bit. The pot is making it sound. I think it's boiling soon. This trip has uh, it's, it's exceeded my expectations by a hell of a lot. And I hope these videos really show that, you know, my feeling is that I want to do this again for sure, the NC500, and uh, cover some areas that we didn't cover this time and go the other way around as well. I know you will agree, it's, uh, it's been such an experience and I cannot believe it's been only eight days since we started. I really cannot believe that. So it's been amazing, guys. Cheers to the final night. Cheers, mate. I just want to say how happy I feel right now. Music is blasting. And uh, I'm looking at the fire. It's just beautiful. This is what living's about. This is like perfect ending if I could have uh, chose it in a fairy tale ending it would be like this by the lock with a fire just amazing I love uh, I love this well it's been an amazing final night and the fire is down to the last wood it's crackling and after this it's time to call it a night go in the back in the car I just like loved it, you know, I think it's been a perfect finale to this trip. Tomorrow I will make a, a little video from here in the daylight before I leave and then the plan is to go to the boat calf, the Lock Furniture calf, which believe it or not, we or me has never been, a, even after about 10 years of coming, believe that that is a fact, but tomorrow, I will change that. I'll go into the boat calf here and grab a brew, maybe something to eat, be ready for the journey back to England. So we'll have a quick look at the boat calf here and the views as well, what views they have from the boat house. It'd just be nice to see. So thanks so much guys and uh, I'll see this fire out. And I'll see you in the morning for the final video clip of this trip. Peace.